back. What's up, everybody? Benja, well done. Coming at you live on this beautiful Friday, December the 23rd at 2.44 in the afternoon. How are you doing? So, here's the thing. Hairdressers. Not a job. Um, you know, I put a lot of thought into this, and I have a pretty hard stance after uh, doing a lot of thinking about it. You know? This whole thing about you being a, uh, a hairdresser or a hairstylist and, and the whole like, okay, let me just get this right angle. <clears throat> you know? It's not a real job. You know? You're more really like a, a con artist with scissors. <laughs> I'm serious. Like, you don't have to go to you don't have to go to salon school to learn that objects are sharp and they can cut hair. Deep burn? Hopefully not. But it's the truth. Now, makeup artists. You guys are amazing. You're used in films. You're used to make people look beautiful. Hairstylist is just another way of saying a a, uh, a new age barber. I'm a hairstylist. I'm a hairstylist. Full shit. Now listen, I'm going to take a little bit of heat because I know some people that are actually hairstylists or uh, barbers. It's, it's the exact job. Okay. One's a guy. One's a girl. End of discussion. You know? Salon school. Get out of here with that. I told you. I'm going to take some heat on it, but I don't care. So, moving on. Um, you know, I had to uh, uh, give myself a haircut, and uh, I always do. And it just sort of dawned on me that as long as I can see what I'm doing, and I have scissors or buzz or whatever, you can just do it yourself. I think being a hairstylist, air quotes, right? is more a matter of convenience than anything else because it's not convenient to cut your own hair. For the longest, I just took a, a, a bunch of uh, um, uh, buzz cutters and I just all one until I was done, complete. But now, uh, it's a lot longer, so I decided to take a buzzer still, just got everything all in one proper uh, length, and uh, I just did this. And now everything is all, it's all perfect and it's all good again, you know? I just made America great again with my haircut. Um, now, for what it's worth, I'm not saying you're not valuable, but I do remember there was, uh, uh, in the Army, I learned a financial lesson where there was a financial advisor, which they do have there, and he said, hey, just to give you a small example of how much money you can save if you stop paying for your, your haircuts and just do it yourself, provided by the convenience or whatever. Um, some jerks charge like $150 for a haircut. Like, get out of my face. Like, what are you talking about? You're so dumb. Forget it. Um, but anyway, moving on. Um, yeah, this whole thing about you being charged like 100 plus bucks doesn't make a lot of sense. But when I talked to this financial advisor, he said the average haircut, haircut uh, costs about 20 to 35 I mean, maybe a tip. Why? Because your scissors are sharp. Sure, whatever. Um, um, so if you were to take, and you were to get a haircut like every two weeks, maybe at least once a month, but definitely probably more than that, right? Um, and he said if you put all that into a jar over a certain amount of years, and you'd have like you know five hundred thousand dollars or whatever, something crazy. Um, and it wasn't just the haircut; it was. Um, and it wasn't $500,000. I'm just giving an example. You know how Sorry about that. I got a phone call during my video. Anyway, so um, it wasn't just about, um, it wasn't $500,000. It might have been $200,000 or whatever it was. But the point is, is that all of that extra money, he said, oh, you can save. And everyone in the room was telling themselves like, oh my gosh, that's so much money, right? Um, but no one really actually thought about it because they thought, you know, I could use $20 now or why... You know, of course I could use that hundreds of thousands of dollars later, but I don't want to wait for it, which sounds crazy. You don't want to wait for hundreds of thousands of dollars, but it's also the typical reason nobody has savings. No hating, just saying. And um, and then no one was really buying it at that point. And then the guy just looked at everybody. He's just like, if you cut your own hair, you'll have more money for beer. It was that exact moment that everybody went... <laughs> Went to the PX, bought themselves a pair of clippers, and they've been cutting their hair ever since. And so have I. I haven't paid to get a damn haircut since a long-ass time. And now my hair has grown out, and 
I just cut it the other day and I'm perfectly fine. I have 20 more fucking dollars in my pocket. So anyway, I hope this has been such an educational lesson of why hairdressers are con artists. Um, and, and listen, I know a couple that are, okay, I'm taking a hard stance. I don't have anything against you, okay? But you could easily be replaced by a robot or, or long arms, either or got long enough arms and some good angles you can get it done all right we don't need you so i'm taking a stance and it is what it is so i hope everybody has a beautiful day please forgive me for those that i know and their loved ones that that are also here or barbers or whatever so anyway it's the exact job nobody says i'm a doctor i oh, forget it i made my point i made my point all right you guys have the best day ever. Merry Christmas. Happy holidays. I'm Benji. Well done. Check me out. Peace.